do you view di diagnoses of ASD and gender dysphoria as uh, separate diagnoses, but often interrelated? How, how would you describe any kind of crossover or, or relationship between those, those two diagnoses? Well, the, um, the ASD diagnosis is primary in that a child is born with that um, structure to their brain and the genetic and otherwise background that uh, we know is part of it. Um, all of these other things are, in fact, secondary. Um, they, uh, there are many ASD high-functioning people who don't have gender issues. Uh, I can't tell you exactly why they don't have them, and others do, except that some of the factors that I've been talking about may have been more available to them. Uh, you know, the getting into some kind of area of interest. Uh, a lot of these kids get into tech things, the boys, and uh, you know, we know that a lot of the techies are a bit weird, a bit quirky, all of that kind of stuff, but you know, they don't have disorders. They're, they're pretty smart, productive people. So, uh, you know, I, I think we have to recognize that these are things that can happen to all of us, but are more likely to happen to this group because of the vulnerability. And the other thing, and you, you were, you're having somebody to, to speak with you about trauma in a bit, but these people are very vulnerable to trauma. Mm -hmm. And um, part of this is that if that vagal nerve system isn't working properly from birth, and there's some evidence that that's so, um, it's going to be much, much harder for them to re-regulate if they've lost a parent or the parents are separated or somebody's treated them badly. And they may also not have as much insight into their own behavior and a way of talking about or understanding their, their thinking, which is what we call cognitive stuff, to say, well, if I didn't think this way, Maybe I wouldn't feel so badly, but that's a harder thing for them to enact. And so the um, many of the things we know, we, we actually have some studies on this, that kids in the spectrum who've also had um, adverse early childhood experiences really are in worse situations than others. And then, you know, getting back to your original issue, are these different things, but they're just more vulnerable to a whole host of things happening after that.